two extremes. It's like I'll do questions in order. If I reach question number 10, that's where I reach. If I reach question number 21, I'm on fire. Other extreme is I'll see all the questions, select which ones I want and write them down and attack them. The first one, runs, you run the risk of leaving away some freebies. Second one, you run the risk of kind of uh, being spending too much time in just selecting the question. So question selection has to be dynamic. Typically, I adjust my speed to make sure that I'll reach question number 22 with three, four minutes to spare. Not attempt all 22, I reach that point. I want to have seen all questions when the paper ends. That's how, that's how you adjust the paper, adjust your speed. So the, the tougher the paper, the more I'm skipping. But then the price of leaving a freebie right at the end is too high. If I have a bunch of tough questions, I'm skipping very aggressively, more aggressively than usual, because one freebie at the end and I'm getting murdered. Easier the paper, I'm saying, look, I can nail everything. Attempt all 22 questions, I'll attack like that. So keep that as in, in mind as one, one type of topic. If you're super ambitious, saying 99th percentile, that's where I'm going. You want to attempt 17, 18 questions. Your room for skipping topics, skipping questions, all of that is very low. Be very, uh, have clear decision making rules. Long question, no. Question from trigonometry, no. Something which is talking about two different topics, no. One minute and I've not got it, too many calculations, no, I'm skipping. Four, more than two variables, no. Have rules like that dump them if you have got to say there are 13 14 very doable questions and hit, hit all of them and then five six middling questions i need to have 12 minutes to attack them as well so that's your that's your that's your play uh, doable keep that as a kind of theme for attacking this Hush.